idea there was a robe. Is that a robe or is it a blanket? It's a robe. I'm not in Kansas anymore for want of a better description. To another video excuse the hair had a hat on for most of the day also just getting over cold sore so excuse that um, I'm also talking quietly as well because there's people in rooms next door to me so I want to be <coughs> respectful um, as you are going to have seen from a lot of the footage um, up to now I'm not in Kansas anymore for want of a better description I am away with work I am near Leeds and I am going round um, the Harrison Spinks farm we did that today and tomorrow we're going round the factory to see how mattresses are made I'm not sure if I've said on here but I sell beds and mattresses as part of my day job and so every now and again they do tours around the the factory um, didn't do any last year because of Covid whereas they've started up again now because Covid's calmed down quite a lot compared to where it was earlier um, so I've just done a bit of, bit of footage on the room as well um, but yeah it's beautiful here it is a wedding venue um, at the manor house um, and the farm and then the factory is about half a mile away just south of Leeds so we're just um, to the east of Leeds a little bit um, but yeah it's been a beautiful day, got a little bit of hailstoned earlier, um, it's been bitterly cold um, but it's been very nice, very uh, different, been interesting 
to get out of the shop as well. Um, but yeah, enjoying it so far. Meeting a lot of different people from around the company as well. Um, um, but yeah, we've just got a little bit of down t downtime now. Uh, it's about four o'clock, ten to five. So the bar's open from half past five and dinner is at half past seven. But I'm just going to have a bit of quiet time, um, do my morning devotional that I didn't do this morning. Um, and then head down probably 25 past seven for some food. I do have a few snacks and things with me as well that I can kind of nibble on in between now and then. Um, yeah, just being with people all day, it, it drains me. So I'm just enjoying a few hours of peace um, before a few hours in a little bit, being with a lot of people again. Um, I did forgot, forget to look for my little tripod. Um, so this is all very handheld, possibly a little bit more shaky um, and arm switchy, so I do apologize for that. My hair is a state. I got, as I say, got windblown um, and hailstoned on and that sort of thing. And my, I've, got a, I've had a hat on for the majority of the day. <coughs> um, but yeah, the room is beautiful. Um, I'm on the top floor. So annoyingly, I don't have proper windows. I've just got the little kind of skylights, but I would, I would personally prefer a proper window. Um, but it's just for the one night. I'm going to do a bit quiet time, and then I will catch up with you in a bit. half past six so dinner's not for another half hour um, I've just been chilling a bit of journaling resting enjoying quiet time um, about an hour ago it finally quieted down here there was a few people that were very very giddy not very considerate of the people um, <clears throat> but it's just starting to get a little bit dark now so I'm going to um, well I thought I might shut the window blinds yeah they did ask us a little while ago about dietary requirements and I answered that both me and my colleague are vegetarian hopefully it'll be something that I can eat and that I like um, not full of spices and things <clears throat> so we shall see um, yeah I was going to shut the blinds on the windows um, that we have in here but because they're not curtains because the blinds that's going to cover the entire window there's not going to be any daylight shining around it um, so I think I might hold off on that for a little bit. About half past six, got about an hour to wait for food. Um, feeling quite lazy, chilled, um, ready for bed to be honest. 
been a long day. Um, you know, I was got up at ten past six because I was awake early, um, and I didn't want to be rushing to get ready because I had to leave the house early in order to meet um, at the shop to get a lift in to Leeds here. Excuse me. Um, and so it was a good few hours. So let's see, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 2.5 hours. Um, sat in the car, which is quite exhausting. And I wasn't even driving. Must be worse if you're driving. Um, but yeah, just... <laughs> ready for bed. Um, I woke up a few times as well last night which I don't think helped. Um, yeah, that's Discord chat popping off. Um, since I said I wasn't going to shut the blinds it's going a lot darker now. <coughs> I'll wait a little bit longer. It's not as if anyone can spy in. Um, yeah. So looking at the bed it looks like it's a super king. So it looks like it's two singles, so six foot wide. Um three foot each. Um on the base. And then your six foot mattress. Um so quite excited about trying that. A little bit of an upscale from my double. Um yeah. been a good day though. There's a lot of walking as well to be honest, good few hours of walking. We were walking round the farm. Um, kind of being shown um, how things are done a little bit. Um, got to see the sheep for the wool for the mattresses. some alpacas. Oh, Dr. Fletcher's out there, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why should you call it to him for calling Paris? Yeah, yeah. She's going around taking everyone's carrots. Come on, you're in. Have a joke, don't you? 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 She's just a dog now the last year. Oh. <laughs> um. oh. It's Instagram. Um. Yeah, it's been a good day. A lot of footage that I'm going to need to go through on my phone because uh, it was easy to use my phone for a lot of the footage from today as it will be again tomorrow around the factory rather than my camera um, but I did bring my camera for the evening bit here um, and a bit of the morning when I'm getting ready um, yeah I'm just tired. I really, really want to get into bed. <laughs> but I also need some food. <sighs> Looking forward to sleep tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'm catching a bit, guys. It's five past seven now, so... I'm going to shut those blinds because it's definitely dark enough now. Hopefully 
least I know that I won't be woken up at the crack of dawn as soon as daylight appears. I'll do the other one as well. There is a third one as well. But that one was already closed when I came in, so I've not touched that one. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to obviously head down for food shortly. Um, and then chill again. Um, I need to find out if there's a Wi-Fi password. Um, we didn't get told that. So I'm just using obviously my mobile data, which isn't the end of the world to be honest. Um, but if there is Wi-Fi, that would be awesome. Um, I had to use my phone as a hotspot earlier to use my iPad for the my daily devotional. Um, yeah, which again, not ideal, but it was okay. I assumed that there would be something in the the rooms about the Wi-Fi password, but because it's more of a, it's not a hotel as such. It's it's a wedding venue basically. They do, um, you know, so they rent out the entire place. Um, so there's 19 rooms, um, and then. There's you know, like kitchen area and living area and that sort of thing. So the Wi-Fi password might be in the, the living area. Um, I just haven't ventured out of this room since um, since I got in, basically. So I just needed time away from everybody. Um, and yeah, I feel a lot better for the, these few hours just away from hustle and bustle and <clears throat> um, everybody um, yeah 20 minutes to food so I might head down in a few minutes to have a look around the rest of the, the place because I presume everyone will be over um, where we're going to be eating. So I presume everyone will be over there so I'll be able to have a um, a quick film um, of the other areas um, as well. <laughs> that bed still looks m mightily inviting. Um, yeah, very excited to get into that later. I'm charging a battery that had ran out. There wasn't a lot of charge in it, uh, but I did bring some spare batteries. So I'm charging that, then that's done, and I won't forget to do when I get home. Um, I'm charging over there, so I'm charging my power pack for my phone over there. I need a new one, really, because I have had it for many years, and it's probably on its last legs. Um, doesn't really charge the same as what it did. Um, so I could probably do to get a new one of those to be honest. Because uh, they do come in useful um, <clears throat> when you're out and about. And it doesn't help that my phone's about three, four years old. Three years old? Um, you know, ordinarily, I would have changed it last year when um, I was due an upgrade, but I decided to switch to SIM only account instead of a um, contract, so that I um, so that I could save a little bit of money. I was chatting with a friend before; she's been gifted the new yellow iPhone 14. Um, for PR loan, <clears throat> you know, and I said, oh, I'm, I wanted to get the 14 Pro, but it's just silly money. Um, 
you know, I have a phone that works. I would like the 14 Pro because obviously the footage will be better, the camera's a lot better, battery life will be a heck of a lot better than mine. Um, but I just don't have that kind of money at the minute, so probably be cheaper when the next iPhone comes out later on this year because they're probably going to come out with another one soon aren't they, let's be fair <sighs> Tempest Wednesday 15th of March now it is just after half past seven <coughs> um, breakfast is at eight um, so I'm all packed a few little last minute things to do but I'm all ready um, to go down for breakfast <coughs> um, I didn't sleep too well woke up a couple of times the mattress is a bit soft for me, the pillows weren't to my liking either. Um, <coughs> they're not <coughs> deep enough um, and they're too soft. So I feel like Goldilocks this morning. Um, but I did just notice that the bed's got drawers on it. Okay, that's random. No idea there was a robe. Is that a robe or is it a blanket? It's a robe. <coughs> Not 
Tangus. I guess that's for people that are staying here and don't know about beds, maybe. Oh, just the one robe. I'm just going to journal for a little bit before going down for breakfast. Um, I'm not going to do a devotional this morning. Um, I'll do that when I get home later. Um, but yeah, let me just show you the mess that the pillows got into with me trying to sleep <clears throat> just because I couldn't get comfy and we always say one good pillow notice as well that there's frost on the skylights. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, you can see that way a little bit. And that one as well. So it looks like, oh dear, it looks like a frosty start this morning. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to journal for a little bit before breakfast, before we then head out to the factory, which is about half an hour away. <sighs> um, so I probably won't talk to you until I'm home. Mm -hmm.